Governor Aminu Tambual of Sokoto State arriving for the State Executive Council meeting. The administration says it is committed to the development of the state and it's taken steps to address issues that has to do with the welfare of the people. Today's meeting is going to consider quite a number of bills that have to do with the, the, the penal court law amendment and uh, quite a number of other bills that have to do with the well-being and welfare of the people of Sokoto State. So I, I commend you for remaining steadfast and staying the course. And I believe that as usual, all of you will give your uh, modest contributions as we progress. Several proposals were brought up for consideration at the weekly meeting. Amongst them is the construction and rehabilitation of several roads across the state. Construction of a link road that links Wodinga to Argungu and those on the hinterland, including Mabira layout. And the executive council today has decided to expand was project road construction within Mabira was over 1.1 billion naira. The council approved the rehabilitation and expansion of Government Day Secondary School in Tambua local government area and Government Day Secondary School Kofarini at a combined cost of 309 million naira. Council deliberated on two, uh, one memo that covers two schools uh, and this is a rehabilitation expansion of Government Day Secondary School Tambual uh, that has very high population but yet is sharing classes with uh, one of the adjoining primary schools and so we deem it necessary to um, expand that school to rehabilitate the structures and to provide uh, toilet facilities and administrative block and other required uh, infrastructural facilities. The council also approved the rehabilitation of water tanks with a capacity for two million gallons at Old Market Road area of Sokoto Town at the cost of 78.1 million naira. Also approved is the drilling of 12 solar boreholes in schools across the state. Four boreholes are to be constructed in each of the three senatorial zones.